The static pages plugin for October CMS is, in my opinion, one of the most useful plugins uh, that I've seen so far. Basically, it enables you to create static pages, but also mix in content from partials that you have defined. So here's an example of a static page. Um, this is accessed with once you have installed the module. Um, by searching for it, then you would go to the pages option in the top menu, and then you can add a page. Um, so here's one that's already defined. So when you're editing the page, uh, you can see here there's some content, um, and then these things here are actually snippets. And basically what a snippet is, is it's the ability to include a partial into your static page. And the reason behind this is that you can include a lot of fun custom functionality um, to make a really highly customized page. Um, so here there are two snippets that have been created. And so one is a, a banner and you just... Um, click it and then you can drag it in and um, you can move it to a different position. And then when you click on them, uh, if, if there are input variable fields, you can fill them in here. So to show a preview of what, what that actually looks like, um, I haven't saved this yet. so. It's not going to show the banner twice. Um, so here, this is the banner snippet, uh, which is basically a partial that has been that contains the code to show this. Um, the reason behind this is that if, if, for example, the user wanted to change the picture here, this would be a way to do that because they're they're including the um, the banner as a snippet. And then down here, we have another snippet, which is our panorama viewer. Um, so th these are both defined as partials, which I'll show next. So after going to the CMS option from the top menu, and then to the partials option, um, I've defined a folder called static page. And in that are a few partials. Um, in this case, the banner snippet is actually called header HTMM. Uh, just disregard that one. I think that's a different experiment. Um, so clicking on this, we have we define the snippet code as banner, which is why it was called banner within the static page. Um, and then the name is the same. And then what you can define here are variable inputs. So those can be put in by the user from the static page. So in this case, there's a title, a title two, and they're both strings. So those are shown here. Going back to our static page, when you click on the banner snippet, um, this directly corresponds to this partial. So we have title one, title two, here title one, so we can change this. So we change it to something different, save, and then preview. And this is the area here that, that uh, corresponds to. So you can see it's showing exactly what we typed in.